Are you ready for story time, boys and girls? Today we're going to read If I Were. It's written by Barbara Shook Hazen and illustrated by Lee Ames. Wouldn't it be funny if I were an animal instead of me? If I were a lion, I'd roar as loud as I wanted to, and nobody would say, stop making so much noise. But if I were a lion, I think I'd be lonely, because I'd scare people, and everyone would run away from me. Everyone's scared of the lion's roar and his big teeth. If I were a bird, I could fly anywhere in the sky. But I don't think I'd like eating worms, and I'd miss having pancakes for Sunday breakfast. If I were a hippopotamus, I'd be so big that nobody would pick on me. But if I were a hippo, I'd be too heavy to hurry if I had to run fast and I'd be too big to fit in my chair. If I were a tiny bug, I could crawl inside a flower or hide deep in the tall grass. But I have to be careful because somebody might step on me. If I were a turtle, I could take my house with me wherever I go. But it would be such a tiny house, I couldn't ask my friends in to play. If I were a fish, I could swim and swim and play in the water all day. But if I were a fish, I wouldn't have feet. I couldn't run or jump or climb a tree or go roller skating on my new skates. If I were a porcupine, I'd have prickly quills and nobody would try to push me around. But nobody would hug me either or let me sit in their lap. If I were a pig, I'd play in the mud all day, and no one would say, how did you get so dirty? Or come in and get washed up for dinner. But if I were a pig, I'd miss my nice warm bath, and my bathtub toys, and soft towels. If I were an owl, I wouldn't have to go to bed early. I could stay up as late as I wanted to, every night. But what is there to do in an, all, in an old hollow tree? Owls don't have toys or a TV. If I were a dog, I could run and play and chase cats and sleep at the foot of my boy's bed. But talking is much better than barking. A dog can't tell jokes or say what he wants for supper. Hmm, it would be funny if I were an animal, but I guess I'm glad I'm me because I can do so many things that an animal can't do. An animal can't count or draw a picture an animal can't listen to a story, or have a birthday party, or say, I love you. So I guess I'm glad I'm me. 
the end. I wish I were. This little boy is thinking about all these different animals and all the things that they can do. But remember, there's things that we can do too that animals can't do. And I'm glad you're you. Unique and special just the way you're supposed to be. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.